300 wasn't going to work anymore. It's still the same parts as the M300. It's the same motors. If a motor goes bad, if I order a motor for this, it's the same motor for that. If I order electronics for this, it's the same electronics for that. Permobile is not Sunrise. Sunrise does discontinue stuff. Sunrise jumps from electronic to electronic trying to find newer, better things, and then they do stop supporting them. It doesn't happen here. PNG Electronics, that's who makes our net. They make the same electronics for a lot of power chairs. In fact, if something went wrong and for some reason Permobile no longer had a relationship with PNG, I get the electronics to PNG. If for some reason Permobile no longer had a relationship with the motor manufacturer, I get the motors from the motor manufacturer. But that doesn't happen with Permobile because they do enough testing on the front side to know it's going to be what they want to stick with before it ever comes to existence. The whole reason the C300 is still in existence is because it works. And it meets a need for people who do things more actively outside of their home. The M300 has a base of people who are going to be homebound. It's a Medicare type decision. Um, I guess I, I'm not homebound, but I'm not I'm not hopping out and about. Um, what, I, I mean, as 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 somebody that lives with me, what 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 would you think? I feel that uh, like for the last uh, six uh, for the last six months, Carla has been more in the home okay. than being outside. And the scenario will pretty much be... Not, here's the thing. They have the exact same cost, right? They have the exact same components. So you can buy whatever you want. It's your money. But myself, Jed, Permobile, Brad from Permobile, all agree that this is not the right chair for what you want if you go to another country. Okay? Developed or not... You still don't have the level of accessibility that you have here with simple things like sidewalk ramps. You don't have them in some other places. You want to have the piece of equipment that's going to work better in the environment that you're in. If you don't want to go that route and this is the chair you want, by all means, I will place the order. I will take your money either way. Okay. But the simple fact is... I'll, I'll put it this way. They cost the same thing. I see no more or less profit. It means nothing to me as far as money goes. So why am I trying to sway you towards one chair? Because you because you believe that it's the right chair under the conditions? Correct. Um, I have to say, we've been talking to users. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, they don't live back home. Mm -hmm. But in general, the users feel... That, and these are users that are, are older, they're, they're homebound, they're, they have spinal cord injuries, mm -hmm. they're part of a group we go to. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm not swaying through to again to one or the other, but he said, uh, I don't like the C300 too much because it was hard to turn, okay. in, but the M300 turns really fast. Yes, so the like, M300 does have a smaller turning radius. You have to remember, and I don't know if I told you this, my, in my main household, mm -hmm. The, it was built in the 80s, mm -hmm. and the, the, I mean, the door widths are standard mm -hmm. and nothing more. None my, of that's going to... My door is... None of that matters. Is cracks. None of that matters. Because the width of the chair is going to be the same, whether it's a mid-wheel or a rear wheel or a front wheel. doesn't matter. Okay? Your turning radius with a rear-wheel drive is the worst you can have inside of a home, and that's what you have now is a rear-wheel drive. Okay? You drove the mid-wheel drive. How, or the front wheel drive. How did you drive, feel about that? Well, no, I felt good for it being the first time. Okay. I just have to drive. Was it a little bit easier for you to make the turns? Yes. Okay. So, so let's now see. drive this one. Okay, guys, this is in leaving the home in a, in a home that's flat and unaccessible, as opposed to my home that has a three. It's a three-story home, so. That's a consideration too. Do you generally just stay on I the stay, first floor? I stay on the second floor, which is the flat floor. Do you have a, how do you access the second floor with your chair? Uh, we have it built so that the main living quarters are, you know, I stay on the second floor. And if they need to bring me up, they just carry me up. There's, there's so you don't bring your chair up there? No, I couldn't, okay. I couldn't do it. Okay, okay. I have, I, I have spiral stairs. Okay. Yeah. Um, stuck. Yeah. 